Joining me now from Dallas, Texas, co-founder and chief strategist of GDP Advisors, Seth Denson. Seth, you know, on this one, on this one, I think the Chinese may be misinterpreting, maybe underestimating the United States and the resolve. When you start swerving into this thing called the First Amendment and, and, and people's free speech rights, uh, no matter whether it's on social media or elsewhere, I think it's something that really Americans can coalesce around. Well, that's right. Is this the new shot heard around the world, right? A tweet uh, from a general manager of a basketball organization? I mean, come on, let's be real here. Americans need to stay true to our principles, which is that our citizens have the right to have free speech, specifically around atrocities around the world. And so when we start to blend that with business interactions and that plays now into a trade war, it, it, it garners a, a, a deeper conversation about what's really going on behind the scenes. Yeah, and hopefully behind the scenes, the Trump administration will hold firm on, on tenets and values that are foundational in this republic. And one of the things that we look at in terms of foundation, when you talk about the R word, okay, I'll say it just this once, the re possible recession. Uh, one of the indicators, of course, is inflation, right? And so we have this reading on producer prices right now actually dropped. So how in the world can these people saying the R word, I'm not going to say it anymore now, Seth, um, saying that the R word is around the corner when we see virtually zero inflation? Well, the reality is, I, I'm reminded of the 70s song, sign, sign, everywhere a sign. The reality is, is that depending on what you want your narrative to be, you can find signs to point to that narrative. I'd like to choose to point to the narrative of our 50-year low unemployment rate, that more citizens are now employed, working. We're on an 11th year growth of our economy. Things are pointing in the right direction. Are we seeing global turn, you know, slow down, and is that going to impact some things? Absolutely. But let's look at the real signs behind what's going on. $984 billion deficit this year. This is the bad news, right? Because at right. some point, you know, this adds to the debt, you know, it's nearing $23 trillion right now. At some point when interest rates do start going up, the debt service on $23 trillion is going to be pretty bad and we're going to have to pay the piper. We have a spending problem, my friend. This is not a revenue problem. The U.S. government takes in plenty of that. Uh, the problem is, is the people that we're sending to Washington don't know how to how to take the credit card off the table, so to speak. And it's time we start doing that. We need to have some serious conversations. We might have to cinch that belt down and make some tough decisions, but we've got to get our spending under control. Somebody's going to do it, or our uh, kids and our grandkids are going to be in a heap big trouble. The laws of economics always trump trump the verb trump always trump the laws of politics every single time in the end. Seth, thank you.